Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you a new sensor on the market, the uh, Cibionix CGM. I tried it out and I was really impressed. The sensor is uh, shaped a bit like a Tic Tac and it's uh, white as well. In terms of size, it's great. It is slightly smaller than a uh, Libre 2, but slightly bigger than a Dexcom G7. It's uh, equally thick as a G7 when you compare it on the side. Let's just start with the main benefits of this new sensor. It is a real-time CGM and it lasts for two whole weeks. In that way, it is uh, similar to the Freestyle Libre sensors and it uh, lasts longer than the 10-day uh, Dexcom sensors. Personally, I find this actually really important. I think if a sensor can last for two weeks, why use one that only lasts for 10 days? I mean, you know, changing a sensor, it's always a little bit of a hassle and uh, on the, if you if you calculate it on the whole year, it actually makes quite a big difference. I mean, 10 days or 14 days. What's also really good about this sensor is that it is accurate. Uh, the company has good information on its website about its accuracy. And although I did not test this myself systematically, maybe I should have tried that, but I didn't. Uh, I occasionally checked and I found I found it reliable. Uh, also, what I really liked about this sensor is that it sticks really well to your skin. It comes actually in the box with a great overlay patch uh, that you can use. I don't think you need to, but you can. Uh, and I think similar to the Dexcom G7, this, uh, this sensor doesn't come easily from your arm, which of course is exactly what you want from a CGM. You don't want that they just falls off uh, that they fall off easily and i think that is prob probably uh an improvement over the libra 2 but yeah you know, i know with these sort of things uh you know experiences differ anyway so some people find for example that the sensor sticks really well to their arm whereas other people say i have the same sensor and they say it doesn't stick well to my arm and also important with this sensor is that it is waterproof I went uh, swimming in the sea with it and I had no problems whatsoever. Um, what is important, I think, about uh, the Cbionix sensor is that it comes with an app which is really, really fantastic. Um, I was excited about it. I used, uh, I, I tried this actually over the summer. I used a slightly earlier version. Uh, they told me that they have improved the version. The apps, uh, the app actually allows, I would say a more detailed insight in your blood glucose profile, profile than for example, the Freestyle, uh, the Freestyle Libra uh, apps do. I found this actually really good. And uh, also, like the Dexcom G7 app, for example, the Cbionix allows you to control the alarm sounds, which again, I think is really important. And, and we know how frustrating it can be if you, if you cannot control the sounds. I, uh, I asked the Cbionix company and they told me that they're interested in listening to their customers and hear that, that's great. I mean, you'd expect they all do that, but again, I mean, just read the comments for some of the uh, other sensors on on the web, and, and you sometimes get a feeling that they do not necessarily listen to the customers. I mean, I cannot comment on it. I don't know the workings behind how they make these apps, but I must say, I thought the Cbionics app has really listened to people with type one diabetes. They provide good statistical reports on their app as well, which I found really helpful. I could make a much longer video about this great new sensor, but I just wanted to share this quickly with you because I think this is an exciting new development on the European market for sensors. I don't know if this is also the, coming to the US market, 
but I know they have uh, been presenting this on the EASD, so like the major uh, professional diabetes conference in Europe that was in, I think, in October in Hamburg. So I would say, watch out for this sensor. It is clearly going to be a major competitor on the market for the Freestyle Libra sensors and for the Dexcom sensors. That would especially be the case if they also you know, have a competitive price scheme. I have no idea about that. I think it's a little bit wait and see what's going to happen. Uh, and of course, I would say having more sensors on the market, so to speak, is actually good for people with diabetes because it means these companies, they need to do more to keep their customers happy. And for example, make really good apps or maybe allow other people to use an API so that they can write their own apps more easily. I mean, that would make these sensors more competitive, I would say. I'm a, that's my opinion. Uh, what do you think about this new development? What do you think about this new sensor? Would you like to try it out maybe? Uh, are you looking forward to having more sensors on the market or what do you think about the existing sensors? Leave your comments below the video and uh, watch out for more videos coming to my channel. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.